Right then, I've just walked along there. See a white van at the top there. I don't know if that's some sort of burial mound or anything. Well, all this, these places, are, or it could just be where they dug, did mining. But I reckon there's a path up there going along and it ends up over there. I've always wanted to try and do it. Um, but it's best to do it in the winter when the ferns are all died down. But if I do see a bloke with a dog that I saw further back, then I'll know there is a path if he suddenly appears. Now all this has been dug out by the Romans and the Victorians. I don't know which ones of them done it the most, but um, this is all for mining, lead mining. This is lead mining country. And there was even a, the Victorians even built a, a small gauge track so they could transport stuff out. Look at the lovely clouds, lovely cottonwool clouds. There's also a walk up the top there I have never done either. And I was working my way around to doing all these when they cut the bus service. The 126. There is now a no bus service between Winscombe and Axbridge. And I think that is terrible. I think that is terrible that they've let those communities down. It's not as if it's far. Why couldn't they just let that bus... Why are they doing it? Do you know, it does really annoy. I shouldn't be talking about buses today because I don't have to get one. But what's reminded me is the fact I can come out here now because I've had to camp. I've had to camp for two nights in order to, imp to be able to get here and stay here. Because it's, it would take me too long to... Um, to walk over here for, and, and get back for a bus, it would be impossible. Now I'm older and slower. Um, I think it's awful. But anyway, back to this beautiful scenery that we've got. Um, I don't know if that's a pole over there or a peregrine falcon, I can see. Or big, some sort of big bird perched over there. Um, might just be a stick. Something tells me it's not, it's a bird. My eyes aren't quite as sharp as they used to be though. I used to have very sharp eyes. Long distance. Yeah, very, very sharp. Like I said, it doesn't feel like it was long ago I was here. But it's, it's a good ten months ago since I've done this. Since I walked here. No, my sister Jude knew this route and walked here. She told me. Her and Stuart have walked here. Yeah, it might just be a pole in the ground. Looks too big to be a bird now. He could even be a person. Yeah. It's a beautiful place. Just imagine how hectic it was, though. Going back over a hundred years and going back a, a thousand odd years. If not more, no more than that. When the Romans were here. And uh, when the Victorians were here, they built chimneys. It was black out here black I've still got a jelly rice pudding some quavers bananas I didn't bring the nuts because they weighed too much I could have I could have actually taken some out I suppose so all these humps and bumps are all to do with the mining and they've all got names these humps and bumps and you can find it all online. And you'll say, but you told us all that last time you came. I know I do. Do you want to know what's going on in the world? I don't know either. I haven't listened to the news. 24 hours. But there's an American election next year. And President Trump, who's uh, not the president at the moment, but he was a president. 
Joe Biden's the president, and uh, they're running against each other again, I think. Even though both have committed some sort of acts of unlawfulness. But, um... And then, um... What else? Yeah, the war in Ukraine carries on. Ukraine are desperate to join the Allies. Um, but at that moment they still can't because it could mean war, a, a world war, if we let them join at the moment. Putin's probably ready with his finger on the nuclear buttons now. You know, he's, he's a desperate man really. This is what happens. You imagine if Hitler had had his finger on the button then. What he would have done. Maybe... Putin liked Hitler, for all we know, and he wants to emulate him. Who knows? Anyway, I'm just talking about what's going on in the world. It's today is the start of the Women's World Cup, so I shall miss first the opening ceremony and all that. You can get it all on catch up. And then, um, that's going, tennis is finished, Djokovic lost his crown this time, I think he's won it quite, well, five or six times, if not more, he wanted to beat someone else's record, but he didn't this time, um, Murray Mintz was out early, he made a good start, but he, I don't know, he lost it. Younger, fitter blokes are coming up. The bloke that beat Djokovic was 20 years old. Right, I've obviously got some experience, but not as much as Djokovic. Yeah, he beats him. And uh, didn't even go for like loads of sets or anything. You know. So now, Parliament in England in, has gone home for the summer holidays. And um, there's all sorts of people struggling for their mortgages, interest rates are soaring. They went up again last week. Um, rents are increasing. You can bet your life if they drop the interest rate, they won't drop the rent now. See what I mean? That's the difference. They push them up so that all these property owners can charge more, but they won't lower their rents. They could have their interests dropped, but, you know, it's wrong, really. Now, on this walk, I've got a big hill to do. A long, slow climb up to the aerial, as I call it. And then, after that, walk along a nice, quiet drove. It's an old drove. And then, if there's no cows, I'll be going down through... Skirting Longwood, it's not in it, you're not allowed in it because of Ash Dieback. If there are no cows, I'll be going skirting it and then going up the old fashioned track, the wibbly wobbly track, and then across to Piney Slights. I haven't said hello to my old tree for 10 months. No, I'm looking forward to it. But it's going to take me a long time because I'm not very strong. I feel quite weak. I never used to feel weak. I used to be able to tro trojan on. Uh, I felt as if I could walk for, th for 20 weeks. Not many years ago. But something has um, put the brakes on. Something has. You know, my legs, they feel heavy and, and tired a lot more than they ever did. And I've always exercised to keep the muscles strong. That's what I'm doing now because I know, okay, maybe the bones are getting weaker as I'm getting frailer, I suppose. But, but I know the moment I stop, like cut back too much, the muscles are waste and I won't get them back. I won't get them back. 
and you don't when you're older. It's really difficult. So you have to. My mum always told me, keep moving. I mean, she had arthritis. It killed her in the end. The drugs did. She had from banned drugs now. She took cortisones and all sorts of things. Steroid. Oh, I don't know. Everything. Gold injection. Anyway, folks, this is enough. This is some. Don't forget, I'll just remind you there was a little tiny gauge railway that the Victorians put in all around here. And this is the old track. Then you've got all the waste, that black stuff, from the um, smelting. You've got the kilns further up with the big long tubes, which I have videoed in detail before. I don't tend to really do that now. I just say to people, go on YouTube and look, look up Velvet Bottom. And I'll come up in a number of different videos. But of course, you know, I'm not saying the quality. It seems to me the pixels and the quality changes with time with YouTube. When you first put it on, it looked good. Then it starts to sort of, I don't know, it loses something. So anyway, it's just scrag or whatever you call it. Scrag heaps. It's very sharp, by the way, this stuff. Not many people out today. I mean, I met about three couples, no, four couples, right there, not together, spread out, taking dogs for walks and whatever. Right, you'll turn off, take some photos with the other camera, over and out. Right, it's my lovely big tree. I think it's a maple tree. It's got maple looking leaves anyway. It always looks so dead in the winter but so much alive it's fading now you can see the different color greens are fading already yes yeah, beautiful tree though yeah so here we go this is where the railway line was and uh, we're making our way along Lovely big tree, aren't you? A gorgeous tree. A beautiful tree you are. You get little bits of shade now and again. It's supposed to be getting cold tonight. <laughs> it was cold last night, it's supposed to be even colder tonight. The thing is, it gets into me bones, you know, when I get cold. Gets into me old bones. Well, like I say, going back to the caravan, uh, cam tent, I mean, it's hard work. You spend a lot of time on your knees or rolling about. But it's got a lot more room. It is like the tent, but it's uh, you could never use it on a, in cold weather. So it ain't got some flaps around the sides. It's a summer tent so that you can just sort of cool down. But it's a lot more room for me. There's a lot more room for my stuff and me. And I mean, I think I'm sloping one way or the other in, in it as well. You can't always. You need a spirit level to determine where to position your tent. To be quite honest, we'll get through another night though. We'll get through. We're armed. Do we know now we've got to um, put loads of clothes on before we settle down? Not halfway through the night when you're already cold. And I'm going to wear a t shirt over my head. I've got a scarf and uh, keep the socks on. Except that the grass is wet. I've been using sandals so that my feet don't get, my trainers don't get wet. So in the night I was using my sandals to walk over to the ladies. There's another little tree that's given lots of beautiful shelter to people. 
Over and out a minute. Over and out again. It's just a short video. Right, carrying on. There's a tree where I just took a bit of shelter a minute ago. The next time I stop properly will be to get some more water and have something more to eat. I said when I got to Velvet Bottom I would do that. Look at these lovely little bluebell type, these little bells. They're gorgeous. Little fairy bells they are. Reminds me of that. Fairies. Now what it is with me body is that uh, I go for I also go through spells of feeling quite alert and off I go again you know that sort of thing and uh, then I'll get a real tired period I have to really keep mentally keep myself going actually but I always like to do this but I never used to feel tired like I do now never never used to ache um I'm just wondering what they, they found out about that jab, you know, that they gave us, whether it's making people's bones deteriorate or I just think there's something that won't break with that jab, to be quite honest. But anyway, we won't go on about that, but it is part of my life. This is a reflective journal and a visual diary. I always have to remind people about that because um, I do talk about stuff that affect me. There's some big dents in the ground there. They're probably from old mining. They got names those dents. Yeah all well, this is mining. All mining here. That seems to get more, er more erosion there. And there's even evidence of the Romans more up here, the brickwork and the humps and bumps. People have I been here and done digs and that. Common place for people to sit and have a little rest here. Once again, the old railway track would have come along here. Um, Gonna, I'm just going to stop here for a minute. I'm going to need to get the water out earlier than anticipated. So I'm going to stop here in the shade a minute and get some water. I should have bought some oranges really. So there you are. This is all what it looks like where there's been Roman and Victorian mining. And it is, you can find out all about it. It's online. There's a big history about the Velvet Bottom. And over there, there are plaques with details about the donkeys that worked here, the carts, every all the men were coated in black stuff, you know, where they were working. Very awful conditions they worked under. And this place would have been filled with billowing black smoke, by the way. Right, I'm just gonna turn off a minute.